The second Brooklyn Designs video for today is devoted mainly to the standout students of Pratt's Industrial Design Department. But first, let's meet a few designers that I couldn't squish into the first video. Hi, my name is Matthew Fairbank, and I am Matthew Fairbank Design. This is the uh, sh chaise lounge. It's inspired by uh, Greek Cosmos chair. And the last thing is the desk, which has uh, inspired by a vintage card catalog, uh, library card catalog, and it has a leather top and a walnut frame. Okay, my name is Shannon Campanero, and my company is SKL. Basically, I'm a painter, and I make wallpaper out of little pieces of my painting. Now let's see what some of the talented students from the Pratt Institute are up to. Hi, my name is Dana DeVega. I'm an industrial design student at Pratt, about to graduate this May 2018. I designed two pepper mills, pepper and salt mills. They come in red and black, blue and silver. They are made out of aluminum, they are hand spun, they are locally made in Greenpoint. They are anodized, so they're food safe. They were designed so that the mechanism could fit inside, so they're pressure fit with no glue. And they are also ceramic, so that's why it's all right for salt and pepper, so it won't corrode. And the tops are boiler drain valves. And so this one's salt, and this one's pepper. Hey, I'm Sarah Ebert. I'm a student studying industrial design at Pratt Institute. I designed these stools. They're upholstered and recycled sweaters. All the sweaters come from the Salvation Army. They cover a urethane stool on the inside. They've already been washed and shrunk, so you can remove them. If they get a stain, throw them in the washer and put back on. Hi, my name is Tawny Hickson and I'm a graduate student at Pratt and I designed this chair, the RE chair. Um, it's steel bars powder coated with uh, raw hide. It was designed in uh, six weeks and built as part of a study abroad project in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, I'm Joseph Kent and I'm a senior at Pratt Institute studying industrial design. And my product is a butcher block that CNC cuts so that when you're carving a piece of meat up here, any runoff actually goes out away from your surface and then down to one in so that you can easily pour it up. Hi, my name is Jason Beffley. I'm a senior undergraduate at Pratt Institute. So these pieces focus on utilizing a central component uh, as a building block for these two pieces of furniture. It's a cast aluminum component. And by uh, switching out a few elements, you can create a completely different piece of furniture. Institute. Creation was a crate because I wanted to create an amorphic shape from a recycled five spot. Hi, I'm Liz Pavesi and I'm an industrial design student at Pratt. My chandelier is inspired from a circular knitting tool. The top circle is a bicycle wheel rim and it acts as the tool itself to knit the part below which is made out of a parachute cord. Hi, my name is Evan Durst. I'm a master's student in industrial design at Pratt Institute. I designed the buoy chair. Uh, the idea behind the chair was to enable the user to have more of like an upright stance while they're sitting. So it's more like you're standing up but you're somewhat supported by the chair. It allows you to sort of bop around, go left and right, and, you know, reach things like a desk or draw or whatever you want to do. And it's made of cork. And this is a piece of spun aluminum. And this is a buoy, so it's like an inflated piece. It's got a little bounce to it. Hi, I'm Michael Weaker. I'm a recent uh, graduate of the Industrial Design Master's Program at Pratt Institute. This is the Franklin Lamp. It's, uh, it contains a lot of American cultural icons to give people a sense of warm American nostalgia and childlike whimsy. There's a lot of references to Benjamin Franklin specifically, and uh, the way it works is that you ring this, you ring this bell using this key. The key is a reference to Benjamin Franklin's fabled electricity experiment, and the light fades on with the fading sound of the bell, and it works the same way when you turn it off. Last but not least, here are some more great designers from this year's Brooklyn Design.